People talking about the football injury last night when the Miami Dolphins quarterback took a hit to the head. It's sending shockwaves through the NFL. Western Mass News reporter Maria Wilson is getting answers from a Bay State doctor on what happened. The images are alarming. Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tango-Voyola enduring a dramatic hit during Thursday night's game against the Cincinnati Bengals. Hitting the ground, his fingers are seen stretch in a gesture called the fencing response, which doctors say is likely a sign of brain injury. Dr. Julio Martinez is the medical director at Bay State Rehabilitation Center. He tells Western Mass News this response is normal in babies and is eventually outgrown, but can be seen set off by something as such as a traumatic injury. These are very serious sign that requires immediate medical attention. He tells us all brain injuries should be taken seriously and playing through these injuries can have long lasting effects such as chronic headaches, depression or learning disabilities. Dr. Martinez says concussions and other brain injuries are more common and often more serious in people who have already had them before. As for Tango Viola, this was the quarterback's second hit in two games. While he passed a concussion test after Sunday's game, many believe he should not have been on the field four days later. Dr. Martinez says safety protocols should always be followed. Any athlete that has a suspicion of a concussion, they should not return back to play sports the same day. They should sit out, be evaluated by a physician, and certify that they didn't have a concussion. So if someone have a suspicion, even a suspicion of concussion, the first safer thing is to, to sit out because in reality you only have one brain. You don't have a spare parts. And he says all head injuries should be taken very seriously. If you are concerned that you may have a concussion or you are concerned that one of your teammates may have had a concussion, speak up.